And you are welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have with us, of course, Asade Zewanko, and of course, TG Banks is joining us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me once more time. All right. Hello. All right. Okay, so let's talk about our family member. You know how we Nigerians, <laughs> when our, our, our people start doing really well outside yeah, country, we are very quick we to blame them. them. So he's, his mother is Nigerian, his father is, um, he's a British Nigerian boxer. His mother yeah. is Nigerian, his father is Irish, but, you know, has Nigerian, yeah. of Nigerian descent. And Anthony Joshua had a face-off with, um, what's his name again? Um, with Gerald Miller. Gerald Miller. Miller. Yeah. And it was a bit of a violent video. Yeah. You know, and Nigerians have gone on Instagram to tear him down, st stating that they can't wait for Anthony Joshua to beat Jared Miller on the 1st of June, and that after that, his Instagram will hear Pepe. <laughs> when you saw the video, yeah. what was the first thing you thought? Yeah, it was a bit violent, but I like the fact that it's happening, and a lot of people are talking about the bout. Before now, the, the thing was so low. There was no much frenzy about it. There was no much talk about the fight. Uh, if you compare this fight to the fight he had with uh, Vladimir Klitschko, the Klitschko brothers, the one he had with Paka, the one he had with um, the last five bouts, this has been the lowest so far in terms of publicity. So having this kind of uh, issue happen right now between the two guys, it has really upped the game. If you look at their weight category, Anthony Joshua, they are both heavyweight boxers. Anthony Joshua is six feet, six inches, why the other guy is six feet four inches, mm. and it shows that these guys are well built. Oh, uh, and right. they, they knock out in terms of uh, records. Anthony Joshua has fought like um, 22 fights and he's had 21 knockouts. Why the other guy, no loss at all in 23 fights and he's had about nine knockouts. So it shows you it's going to be a very tough fight in Madison Square Garden in the United States of America on June 1. And I can't wait to see that bout happen. Okay, well, talking about wins, I know that um, Anthony, like you said, has gotten 22 wins straight up yeah. and he has never drawn any match. He has never lost any match. Yeah. But actually, Gerald has, you know, won 23 times yeah. and he has not um no, no, lost he has, he has, he has, and he has drawn once yeah exactly. so everybody's saying this is a big fight and this is the first time anthony is actually going to be going to the u.s but yeah, everybody exactly. is now saying why is Gerald taking it so seriously he he's like he's coming for a vendetta of some sort yeah because he practically started being violent even before he, he has to he has to take it very seriously you're fighting anthony joshua the unified every weight champion of the world. You're mm. fighting, so it's like <clears throat> him against the whole world fighting. And the will be going to the United States of America, which is like an unfamiliar ground for him. So far, he's been used to fighting in UK, and UK is like his own comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So it'll be an interesting one seeing him go outside. And one of, one of the issues when you travel outside your, your comfort zone, you go to the United States, the fighter is from US, you, you are from UK. I pray he doesn't get to a draw. When he gets to a draw or there's no knockouts, it might count against Anthony Joshua, and I hope we don't see that happen. We're going to see Anthony Joshua beat him. Beat uh, him like a criminal. <laughs> like okay. he, you know, Nigerians are waiting to pour yeah. their fury on him, but you can actually have a match, a fight, mm -hmm. without having to be so aggressive. Which leads me to a very, on a, on a much lighter note, yeah. how do we deal with confrontation when you're being In attacked? Sports. No, not in sports, in life in general. Yeah. So you, you're dealing with confrontation by your competition. Why do people not take competition, you know, uh, so you don't take it as something that should spur you to want to do better. So you see someone who's in the same industry with you, and, and all of a sudden, you're, you're insecure. So how, how do we manage and how do we deal with confrontation and competition? Because that's what it looks like here. Yeah. He sees Anthony Joshua as his competition, yeah. and he had a very violent confrontation. Which, to be honest, wasn't necessary. You can yeah, prove wasn't. yourself wasn't. when you get into the boxing ring. Yeah. So how do we handle confrontation such, and such, competition? Such thing in boxing is not new anyway. The, we, the followers of boxing, love to see something like that. So is like it because that. we are Nigerians who are taking it very personal? Yeah, a bit, we're taking it a bit, a bit so personal. I could see David going on IG. I could see a lot of Nollywood guys go on IG and talk. It's, it's not new to boxing. Why this is making the news is because he did it before they started talking. And even they started talking and they threw insult as usual, and it did it, it wouldn't make the news. But now it has made the news, and it has made, we're talking about it now, it's made the news everywhere in the world. Watch CNN now, watch other, other TV stations all over the world, they're talking about it. And it's a big deal, and I'm happy Anthony Joshua will knock him out come June 4th. And I'm happy that Anthony Joshua actually comported himself. Yeah. Moral of the story, if there's nothing you took away from that little video clip, is the fact that you don't have to answer to every fly 
or butterfly that comes your way. <laughs> People attack you, you know, from where they stand. Sometimes uh, it's a function of their insecurities, but you can actually ignore you. You don't have to respond. It's, it's but, 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 but for the fairness of the game, I remember a certain opponent that Muhammad Ali actually had hmm. at some point, hmm. um, some years back then in the peak of his career. He said truthfully in an interview that he never thought he would beat that person All because right. the person had a great record there but he played mind games on him exactly. he would go to the store yeah. attack him like tell him i will I'll beat, beat you. you you will lose yeah, you will fail he and he did it to him everywhere yeah. and actually worked at the end he of was. the day muhammad ali actually beat him so exactly. but i felt if jaron was to go through come from that angle yeah. i think we would have understood if there is a coach in in the world of football that is involved in mind games a lot and it has worked for him is Jose Mourinho <laughs> and it's not it's not wrong doing that if you can do that and it works for you keep doing it at the end of the day <laughs> those of you you should understand from that video that it's all about intimidation yeah. the opponent mm. is trying to kick you out the yeah. opponent is trying to to intimidate you and if they can win your mind first then they can win you physically because everything starts in the mind so we'll go out there as you go into the rest of the week do not let that opponent that bully bully you <laughs> that out bully. of mm -hmm. <laughs> yes because that's what it is bully yeah, yeah, i won't call course. him a bully it's it just, is bullying no, no, you just... can prove yourself with your talent and skills but you don't have to be so violent about Did it you see their sizes well, anyway, but that is my own moral of the story from All this. Right. You don't have to respond to every criticism that is thrown your way. And this is also something that I'm learning for myself as well. As much as possible, guard your mind. And at the end of the day, Anthony looks like the bigger person. Yeah, he's bigger. Six you know? feet, six inches. Not even bigger physically, not like just bigger. Not just, uh, yeah, 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 in size, you know? in height, everything. I love the caption he put when he posted See, the video. you think no, he's he built that much? Uh, the, guy, the guy he has, I think, he just his arms are uh, bigger than Anthony <laughs> Joshua's. Own. All right, that's all we can take for now on Hello Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.